Hi everyone, today I'm excited to share some of the things that I found on my trip to LA. I went to so many thrift stores. I also went to the Rose Bowl flea market. I'm excited to share my finds and I'll share some things that I also bought at thrift stores here in the Bay Area where I am from. Let's see what I have found both in my trip to LA and here in the Bay Area that I've slowly collected over the last couple of months. During my trip to LA, our hotel was not too far from a Goodwill. So I went to that Goodwill every night that I was there. So I think on my second or third night I found these. If you watched my last thrift haul video, found the same thing in LA as I did here in the Bay Area and it was cheaper in LA. $3.99 and $4.99 versus $5.99 for the same sizes in the Bay Area thrift store that I went to. I have already been using the other ones that I found. Let me grab those. Now you can see that I have quite a few here. I mentioned in the last video that these are from Crate and Barrel. I think they're beautiful. I will say that I am someone that likes things that are not fussy and over time, I'm not sure if they will make it. I've already chipped the inside of these. You'll have to be careful with these. Would I buy these new? Maybe I'd buy a couple and decant something that comes in packaging that it makes sense to decant. Like cotton rounds like this, I would definitely buy them consider buying them new for that. They are really expensive. If it was something that I thought, you know, would really add to the aesthetic, I do think that they are beautiful. Let's move on. I got this planter for $7.99. This one, I still have the receipt. I got this one from the Goodwill in La Brea. This was at a different Goodwill than where I got the other canisters. Again, it was $7.99 for it. On the bottom, it says that it was $24.99. And this just looks like a ceramic, you know, standard white ceramic planter with a drainage hole at the bottom. So I was pretty excited to get it for eight bucks instead of 20 something dollars for something that I know I will use and that goes with a lot of the other planters that I already have. I like getting them in white because you can just move them around and they just works in a lot of different spaces and gives you flexibility as plants grow or as you swap things and move them around and just try to find them in different finishes and in different textures so that it adds some dimension that way, but try to stick to very neutral colors. White is one that I am happy to pick up anytime that I can find a deal on them. Next up are these white serving platters. I found this set of two for $12.99 at the Society of St. Vincent thrift store in LA. A friend told me that it's a popular one in LA. I didn't know what to expect going in, but it is massive. It is like a warehouse. They do have a tag discount. Society of St. Vincent has free parking along with a Goodwill that also has free parking that is walking distance. So you can go to two places at once. I got these for $12.99. I couldn't find these on the website but I see that that's something similar retail goes for some more so I thought it was a good deal for the most part I like to stick to white serving platters like this because you can mix and match them and they all go nicely together I have some other white serving platters that look similar to this the two bigger ones I have are from Crate and Barrel and I have two smaller ones that I found at Home Goods and then I thought that these were a nice middle size. I was happy with this find. Looked up so many different thrift stores in the areas that we were visiting in LA and I didn't pick up a lot of things. I'm overall very picky. When I do these hauls, they're usually spread across a couple of months of time so far is how I've done them rather than showing you a one-off thing that I found. The last thing I picked up from an LA thrift store is this small little tapered candle holder. I got it for 250. Thought it would be a nice layering piece with other very low profile tapered candle holders. If you watch my hosting a, a small dinner party video, then you know that I like to use things that are lower in profile so that they don't get in the way of people having a conversation. So I thought that this was a nice layering piece that I could use. And it's a different material than some of the other type of tapered candle holders that I have. So I thought that this was a nice addition to, to that collection of mine. Overall, for the number of thrift stores that I went to in LA, I did not buy a lot of things. I had four transactions at four thrift stores out of probably going to about closer to eight or 10. If you go thrifting, you know that that's how it goes. I went to each of these ones, except that one that was close to my hotel, just one visit, quick pop in. Overall, it was really fun to see how the prices were. I think the prices at the Society of St. Vincent were some of the higher prices, and I think that the Goodwill still had some better prices, And uh, but overall, I think pretty similar prices. My husband and I went to Sidecar. They are a coffee shop and donut shop. If you download the app, you get a free coffee and a donut for free. It wasn't just a drip coffee that you could have. You could actually get whatever espresso drink you wanted. It was fun to pick up that freebie before starting our day. So 
check out to see if that's available if you are in the area. Let's talk about the Rose Bowl flea market. While my husband and I were there, we did make the trip. It's in Pasadena. We did everything except all of the clothing section. It is massive. If I compare the Alameda Flea Market with the Rose Bowl, the Rose Bowl is definitely bigger. Just the other vendors that didn't sell clothing, I think was probably the size of the Alameda Flea Market. After hours of walking, I only ended up picking up one thing. I really liked this piece. Let me know if any of you know, recognize this artist. It's signed with the initials of JW, but I really liked that it has glazing that is sealed off all the way on the inside, so it is watertight. And then it has this unglazed raw ceramic exposed at the bottom. It's in a neutral color, which you know that I am a fan of, and I've already used it. I put some roses on it and I think made a really nice little arrangement. So that was my LA trip. Let me know what are some of your places to thrift in LA. I would love to hear some places that we should visit next time. I also did some shopping at some really great boutique stores. I did pick up a set of mugs that were at a much higher price point, but I really go for value. And if something is more expensive, but I know it's something that I'm going to use so much on a regular and daily basis, that's something that is money well spent for us. Let me know if you'd be interested in a video where I talk about the things that I do buy new. So now let me share some of the things that I have found here. I'm from the Bay Area and I thrift across so many different cities. Let me share what I have collected over the last couple of months that I haven't shared with you yet. I found these two pieces on two different thrift store trips. I got these both and they are by Emily Henry. I don't know if it's Emil or em Emily Henry. I looked up the price point and see that they aren't cheap. I think both of these exist just in a slightly different looking variation. I know that these have great reviews and are known to be a high quality brand. I picked this one up for $2.99. I got it from a Goodwill. Two months after picking this piece up, I saw this one and this is also Emily Henry. I got this one for $4.99. That's something now that I keep an eye out for is going to the same store a little bit after to check if something that I liked there are more quantities of, but that it's put out on the floor a lot later. So I got this one again for $2.99, this one for $4.99, something that I, I know will use. If you've seen my past videos, you know that I'm a big fan of crystal. Here are some Waterford pieces that I found recently. This is a pattern that I don't have. I got this matching set for $7.99. All Waterford pieces are hand cut. It's something that I've been collecting. So let me know if you'd be interested in me sharing my entire Waterford collection. That's something that if you're interested, I can do in the future. I know that lead is a concern. I have a lead testing kit. Please see our page disclaimers. This is what I do personally and what I'm comfortable with. If you saw my last thrift haul video, then these might look familiar to you. In my last thrift haul video, you saw that I saw these. After I posted that video, these were something that I couldn't stop thinking about and that I regretted not picking up, but I never made the trip out since it's further away. But I recently ended up making a trip to that one and I was so surprised that these were still there. These were still there about a month after I had seen them and I was so excited. There was one more in a slightly bigger size that I ended up not picking up that I kind of regret. I did look online and I do see that some resellers are selling them online. So if this is something you're interested in, that's something that even online I think is a great place to look out for. They do look like they're chrome. I've already gotten some use out of them and I know that I will get a lot more use out of them. On a similar note of entertaining pieces, I know I have found another ice bucket that I picked up and then I also found this one. I picked this one up for $9.99. This one is from Pottery Barn. It's the Swank ice bucket. I looked it up and I don't see that it's still available in stores now. I really liked this one and similar to the other one that I found because they go with the things that I already Already have. I like to pick up things that are in a chrome looking finish because I already have some pieces like that. I was so excited because I thought all of these things could work together. If you've seen some of my past videos, you probably have also seen this beautiful barware set and tray that my in-laws gave us and that is also in a chrome finish. These were all things that I thought could work well together that I could mix and match. I found this piece a while back. I got it for $4. I've seen something that looks like this both on Amazon and at different little boutique stores and I see that they're used for matches and a lighter. So 
I think I could buy like a sticker match lighter and then put some matches in here. I might use it for something different like toothpicks or for putting a smaller candle in here. Let me know if you have some ideas on how I could get some really great use out of this one. Those were some ideas that I had. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining us and I will see you next week.